today we're going to precept scriptures and I want to start with the scripture in the book of Matthew. Now, I love using this screen recorder because it helps you see the scriptures. Now, this is going to be Matthew 21, 42. It reads, Jesus saith unto them, did you never read in the scriptures the stone? Notice he said stone, which the builders rejected. The same is become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Now, this same scripture can be precepted with the book of Isaiah. And we want to go all the way down to the suffering servant, which is going to be Isaiah 53. Now, Isaiah 53, verse 1. Who have believed our report? Let's pause right there. Nobody's believing this guy's report because this guy is the stone the builders rejected. And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? This is going into the time. There is a man walking around with the time of the end on his arm. Now, I want to get some more scriptures that's going to precept with this. Now, we already went through Matthew 21, 42. The stone that the builders rejected. The same is the chief cornerstone. Then we took you to Isaiah 53, where it talks about who have believed our report. Nobody as of yet. Now, let's go over to the New Testament, where it talks about Noah. And Noah is spelled N-O-E in the New Testament. So here we have in the Gospels. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Now, this last seal of all the messengers, he has a message that is not quite received. It's not received like it's supposed to be received. And in the day of Noah, Noah only could save eight people, including himself. Eight people out of the whole world. Now, Jesus is saying in the last days that it will be like the days of Noah. Now, let's go to the Gospel of Luke. Luke 17, 26. And as it was in the days of Noah so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. Now, Noah was a warner. He knew the time of the end. And that's exactly what I'm doing right here in the house of David. I am a warner. I have the time of the end. It's 2034. Now, look at the word Noah or no. It's the 14th letter of the alphabet. Then we have the 15th letter of the alphabet. That equals 29. I was told that I have nine years left. And then what's the last letter? E. 29 plus 5 equals 34. I am the man that knows the end. And that's the reason why this message is not received. Now, let's go over to when Jesus said, no man, no the time or the hour. And this is going to be definitely in the Gospels. And let's go to Mark 13, 32. But of that day and that hour knoweth no man. No, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son but the Father. So at this time, the Father only knew and he was in heaven. Now, think about it. Did it say nobody will ever know? No, it didn't say that. The Father knows. And that's what's so significant about this ministry in the house of David. I have the time of the end because I am proclaiming to be the Father. I am the father of the prophet Isa, and I have the watch and I have the time. So nobody knows the time of the end. But the Father, and he is the only one who knows the time of the end. Now, my testimony is like this. On September the 16th, 2024, I woke up at four something in the morning. I came downstairs. It was a normal day getting ready for work. The moment I go to put on my Timberland boots, 
I hear within myself. You know your mom died when you was nine. And because I'm always conversating with Allah within myself, I knew exactly what he was talking about because I was pondering on how long is Al Mahdi's reign. When he said nine years, I knew I had nine years left. When he brought up my mama, this was special to me because this is how I knew I was Al Mahdi. Years ago when my mama died, she used to give me a letter to pray. She used to give me a letter to pray. And one day I did not pray. And that was the day she died. So I used to always harbor that in myself. And I felt responsible. So when Allah woke me up to being Al Mahdi, I was like, oh, I'm the Mahdi. My mama died. My dad Monty died. My cousin Marcus died. My friend Buddy Mac died. My grandma Mary died. My kid's mother died. My other mother died. My sister Margaret, all these people died with the M all around me. Okay? So those words when he said, you know, your mama died, I know he was telling me, hey, Maddie, you got nine years left. And he literally stopped the time right there. The time was literally stopped. And nine years was given. I have nine years left. Al Maddie dies. In 2034, September the 16th. Now, Al Mahdi is the prophet like Moses. Let, let's get that. Al Mahdi is the prophet like unto Moses. This is going to be in Deuteronomy 18 and 18. And I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren like unto thee. And this is Moses he's referring to. And I will put my words in his mouth and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. So all the other messengers that came before me, they were my microphone. But when I came to this planet, I was Allah's microphone. I am the prophet like unto Moses. Now look at it. It's Deuteronomy 18 and 18. OK, that is like 36 that equals 36. Now, if you look at 19, I was told I have nine years left. So even the times, even if you go to Deuteronomy, watch this. We're going to go to Deuteronomy chapter 34. And it's only 34 books in the book of Deuteronomy. Moses dies right here. Verse five. So Moses, the servant of the Lord, died there in the land of Moab. Moses dies in what book? 34. He dies in 34. Why? Because this is a picture of Al Mahdi dying in 34. This is the real truth. Now, I'm a warner. You're not listening because not many people listened in Noah's day. Okay, think about Lot. Let's get that. Let's go back to that same story because it brought up Lot as well. Now, Lot was a righteous man. Let's get that scripture real quick. Lot was righteous. Why was Lot a righteous man? Okay. Because Lot was without sin, metaphorically going into Al Mahdi. Al Mahdi is without sin. I'm without sin. And so when we go into 2 Peter, it talks about Lot. Now let's go to 2 Peter 2 and 7. And delivered just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. For that righteous man dwelling among them, and seeing and hearing, vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. Now, Lot is a picture of Al Mahdi. Lot is a picture of the Lamb. Al Mahdi has to bear the iniquity of the world. At this time, Lot had to bear the iniquity of his city. Now, what happened in the story of Lot? His wife looked back and she became a pillar of salt. OK, and Lot ended up recreating the world with his two daughters. OK, now this is the reason why Al Mahdi is surrounded by the silver. That black rock surrounded by the silver is going into the virgins. OK, this is the real truth. Everything I'm bringing out can be verified. 
Lot was a righteous man. He was a righteous man. His wife was not. His wife looked back and she became a pillar of salt. It was only a few people saved. Just like in the days of Noah, it was only a few people saved. If you believe in the prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, how come you don't believe in what he said? He said in the last days, in latter times, it will be like Noah. It will be like the days of Lot where everybody is blind and only a few people Go make it in. Now, I'm a warner. I'm going to keep on warning. I'm going to keep on warning the nations. Now, let's go back to where we was at. We were in the book of Luke. Let's get back to Luke. Luke 17. Verse 28. Likewise, also, as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat. They drank. They bought. They sold, they planted, they build it. This is going back to Matthew 21, 42. The stone which the builders rejected, the same has become the head of the corner. Right now, people are buying and selling and shopping, marrying, drinking, and the warning of the end has come. Allah revealed to me specifically that if it wasn't for me, the whole world would have went into judgment. He says, so right now he paused the time and he's allowing me to warn the nations. And he's gonna use me to clean up this entire earth. Now let's go to the prophecy of al -Madi. Let's go to that prophecy. And this is gonna be in the Hadiths. It says, and this is to show you how off we are in the hay deeps. Some people believe I will have seven years. Some people believe I will have eight. It was revealed to me directly by Allah that I have nine years. It says he will fill the earth with equity and justice as it was filled with oppression. How are you going to fill this entire world with equity and justice? You must have some type of supernatural power for a certain amount of time. Now, look what it says. Allah will bring out from concealment al Mahdi from our family. This is going into the mantle, the Muhammad mantle. And this is al Mahdi speaking through the prophet Muhammad, just like it was the father speaking through the prophet Isa. And people always get it confused. They think Mohammed was speaking his own words and they think Jesus was speaking his own words. No, Allah will bring out from concealment, al Mahdi, from my family. And just before the day of judgment, see, this is the reason why I woke up because we have nine years left. Even if only one day were to remain in the life of the world, he will spread on this earth justice and equity and will eradicate tyranny and oppression. So look, the secret of Al Maddie's ministry is that this man knows the time of the end. He knows the time. And this man is divinely guided by Allah. Allah is protecting me right now. And I don't jump the gun. I don't tempt him. I don't go out and try to slap somebody. OK, it's going to come a day when the world will recognize me right now. I'm just being rejected, being rejected, being rejected, being rejected, being rejected, being rejected, being rejected by those closest to me, being rejected by people online. OK, and this is this is not even the beginning because don't nobody even know. OK, because my YouTube channel is low volume, but I'm working two jobs. And right now I am paying for YouTube promotion. I just got my channel monetized on the House of David so I can put the T-shirts out with Al Matty um, on the shirt and on the hoodie. I got some awesome ideas I'll show you in just a minute. But this man's secret to success is that he knows the time of 
the end, okay? Now, let's look at five. The Mandy will be a descendant of Fatima. This is not just talking about Fatima's family. No, it's not. It's not. It's a metaphor. This is talking about the father. See the fat. This is going into the father's time, not Fatima. You see, this is a metaphor. It's all about time with Al Maddy. Haven't you noticed that? It is all about time with Al Maddy. There's not much said about him. But the most point that's brought out is the length of his reign. It's all about time. Time, time, time keeps on ticking. This man knows the time of the end. It is September 16th, 2034. Now, years ago. In 2016, I was out on the streets with a sign, and it had 2017 the end. And let me tell you something. I would post up on the streets of Elkhart, Indiana, with a sign that said 2017, 2017, 2017. I believed in it with all my heart, okay? So this ain't my first rodeo. And come to find out, Ain't nothing happened in 2017. Nothing happened. I didn't get that discouraged. I just picked myself up and I was trying my best to uh, find out what is that all going into. Because I knew I felt it in my heart. Now, if you take 2 times 17, it equals 34. And Allah said, I never once abandoned you. I wanted to show you how much they believed in you. OK, he wants to show me who's real and he wants to show me who's fake. He wants to show me who's going to have faith in me and he wants to show me who's not going to have faith in me. And he did that perfectly because 2017, I was out there. My wife can testify. I was out there and now I'm back at it again, predicting the end because this time I got it right because it was revealed to me in detail the 2017 was going into 2034 okay and Allah has been guiding me he guided me to be out there on the streets with the sign man I was out there on the streets with the sign me and my wife had an apartment and I'm telling you I was working at a wood company and I was cutting wood and I just felt like the planet was mine and I was going to take over and I didn't know how. I felt so impressed about it. I literally quit my work and I was literally walking around with a sign back then. OK, I got myself back together years ago, but here I am back at it. And I only tell you this because I'm confident that this is the truth. truth. If I doubted this revelation for any second, I wouldn't have even told you about the 2017. Because that's going to make people even be in more doubt. But I brought that out to let you know that I'm not some guy that just heard about an Israelite movement and picked up a Bible. No, I'm not some guy that just jumped into religion. No, I've been studying my Bible for about 20 years years i've been singing and dancing for the lord for years come to realize and come to find out i was the last warner so there you have it you see it you know the truth is right there it's on the wall 34 it's over let's go to isaiah real quick and i'm on my lunch break i am on my lunch break i haven't even ate I'm just bringing the truth out, man, because this truth can help somebody if they open up their eyes. And I prayed, I prayed for an Arabian woman to wake up and receive her Maddie. Okay, that's my prayer I put out. I don't pray that much for myself and asking for things, but I truly believe in that prayer that that is going to happen. So right here in Isaiah 34, amazingly. Verse four talks about the host of heaven shall be dissolved and the heaven shall be rolled together as a scroll. It talks about destruction. It talks about the heavens dissolving. Now, look, you're going to watch me. I'm going to type this in the Bible 
and see if it comes up anywhere else. Nowhere else. Nowhere else in the Hebrew scriptures. Now it talks about it in the letters of Paul. One time. Boo. And it talks about it in second Peter. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. In the, the Hebrew scriptures, which Muslims do believe in because they believe in the prophecies of Muhammad in Isaiah. Out of all the books of the Old Testament, it's only in 34. I learned this afterwards. You see, Allah told me the end was in 34. And then he confirms it later with scriptures. You can go to book of say bye bye. You can go to book of say bye bye. And it does the same thing. Let's do that. Let's go to the 34th book of the Quran. Matter of fact, how about I do this? The hour shall inevitably come upon you. Let's see what comes up. Let's see what comes up. Let's type in Islam. Or Quran. There we go. Watch this. Look. When it says the hour shall inevitably come upon you, automatically the 34th book of the Quran comes up. Man, I'm not making this up, okay? I'm like the boy that has cried wolf and cried wolf. And so some people that probably know me, they like, you know what? He tripping. He tripping. He tripping. Oh, but it's real. It's real. 34 is over. You're not going to be able to escape. And Allah is using me, the stone, to judge all the nations. I'm going to judge the entire earth. Why? Because he spared the world for me. He stopped the time for me. And I'm going to show you a picture and I'm going to let you go. And this is going to be a real nice picture of me. First of all, look at the cobblestone. Okay, here we have the silver next to the pillar. Then we have the black stone. I'm the black stone. I'm surrounded by the virgins. I'm surrounded by the virgins. I'm on the chief side of the Kaaba. Why? Because I'm the chief prophet. Before there ever was messengers, it was me. Okay, I was the worshiper of Allah before there ever was any other prophet. So here you have the silver, you have the black stone, which is me. I am Lamonti, and I'm right next to a pillar. Okay, now watch this. Look at that. Same thing. I'm right here next to a pillar, next to the, 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 the pillar. Okay, you see the brick wall, a pillar. Then you see me with the silver pants, the virgins on my pants, man. I got the virgins on my pants, the silver on my pants. Then I have the black jacket. I'm the black rock. Then I have my, my tongue. If, you, if this picture was high quality, you will be able to see my tongue. According to the religion of Islam, there's going to come a black stone with two eyes. Watch this. Let's get that. Muslims know this. They just can't handle that they madly black. And I'm going to show you those t-shirts too. I ain't forgot. Black stone. Two eyes. And tongue. Watch this. Here it is. In Termini. I've been Abbas narrated that. May Allah be pleased with him. The messenger of Allah. Peace be upon him. Said that the black stone by Allah. Allah will raise it up on the day of resurrection with two eyes by which it sees and a tongue that it speaks with testifying to whoever touched it in truth. Now, this stone is not some rock. This is a person. Why? Because he's going to raise me up first. He's going to raise me and the other witness. There's two witnesses out here. We are the last two witnesses. The other witness ain't woke up yet. Okay. Okay. 
Once she wakes up, she'll be able to know the truth. Okay? And I have faith. I believe she's going to wake up. I know she is. Now, right here, the day of resurrection, this same Almaty, this stone, this Lamonti, this Lamonti will be raised up at the day of judgment. And I will judge. I will judge. So look at all this stuff. Look at this. Now look at this right here. Okay? This is me. Okay, these are my shirt ideas. Okay. Right here, Arabs are jello, Maddie is black. Okay. And I'm gonna have that on the back of this shirt. So I'm I'm doing some things. I'm getting right now I just paid for me to have a store. Okay, I just paid for me to have a store with all these shirts and my logos and things like that because it's all destined. It's all predestination. And all this truth is coming out right here, available to you only in the house of David. Now, when you look at this people logo, look at this. This is 34 on there before I even knew about 34. Before I even knew the world was going to end. In 2034, it was already in my logo. Every time I take a step, I lost ahead of me. The world is about to end 2034. Y'all need to wake up and stop playing. Y'all need to wake up and stop playing. The real truth is here. And it's only available in the house of David. Now I'm waiting on that Arabian woman to wake up. I'm waiting on you to wake up. You're going to have to take a bold step of faith because in Islam, they're not going to welcome you. They're not going to receive you. Okay. But you know, I am al -Madi. You can hear it in my voice. You can hear it in my voice. I'm waiting on you to wake up. OK, who cares what your husband says? Who cares what your family says? You're going to have to receive your black Maddie. Now, look at this picture. I'm surrounded by my wife and three virgins, three virgins. That's the silver. And their last name is Vera, Vera, Vera. I ain't got nothing to hide. I ain't got nothing to hide. OK, the silver. I am the stone in which the builders have rejected. I'm Al Maddie. Don't ask me about the jaw. Don't ask me about all this crazy stuff these scholars are worried about. No, Allah is guiding me and he has me focused on what's most important right now. The most important thing you need to know is that Al Maddie is here. He's black and that the world is going to end 2034 in September. Just like those twin towers that fell. It's going to go down just like 9-11, which is the emergency number. Why you think we have those that that combination of numbers? Because it's going down. OK, September 2034, the last two witnesses is going to die in September on the 16th. OK, I have this revelation. I have this knowledge only because Allah has revealed it to me. Now, assalamu alaikum. To my brothers and sisters who will be in the real truth. And assalamu alaikum to you, that Arabian woman. I see you. I see you. You coming home. You coming home to real Islam. And you're going to face the real Kaaba. Okay? The real Kaaba is a man. It's Al Mahdi. That black stone they kissing. Surrounded by the silver is a picture of me. Now, assalamu alaikum. Go, go. The real Kaaba is a man. It's Al Mahdi. That black stone they kissing, surrounded by the silver, is a picture of me. Asalamu.